What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to remove an object or kind of smaller blemishes in Final Cut Pro 10, such as face tattoos. So if you have like a small tattoo and you want to remove it from a video, then you can do this. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. If you guys want to use this plugin, please use my coupon code KINGPIXELPRO at checkout so you guys can save on this really, really cool plugin. So this is after removing the tattoo from the artist here, which is Tom McDonald, if you don't know who he is. Amazing, amazing artist. But if I actually disable the plugin, you're gonna see now we have the X tattoo that was originally on his face here. We're gonna go over to the titles and generators here, go down to the Pixel Film Studios Pro Patch plugin and click and drag the title above the video that you want to remove blemish or tattoo or anything like that, or an object, something like that. So once you're here, you can move this title anywhere. So we're gonna move the playhead at the beginning. We're gonna go over to the inspector tab and in the inspector tab, go over to the title tab and go to control mode. So control mode right now is set to track mode. That's what you want it on first. And then you're gonna to go to edit mask after you've done the step two. And then once you're done with step three, which is the mask patch area, and I'll show you what that means. You're gonna to go to offset placement. So we're gonna stick with track mode for now. We're gonna go with step one and step one is to track the patch area. So patch area is where you want to use to replace this. So we're gonna use this part of his skin on his forehead to cover over the tattoo. So we're gonna go over to track editor. This will open up a window for the auto tracker version 2.1 as you can see here. And then we're gonna zoom into this window here. So click and drag to scroll in. And you're gonna notice that we have a inner red square and a outer red square. So the inner red square is what we're gonna be using to track the object or the position of what we want to remove. So in this case, we want to use this area. So we're gonna make this uh, kind of window smaller and move this over to the left. Before you do that, just drag the box over what you want to be removed and make sure it's bigger than that. So because we're also gonna be feathering this, keep in mind it's gonna go inwards a little bit. So you might wanna make this a little bit bigger. And then you're gonna drag this over to the left or to the right if you wanna use this section to cover this part of the of his face. So we're gonna drag this over here. Then you can go over here and add manu you know, manual keyframes if it stops for any reason. You can go in there and add keyframes and, and then track forward. And then the search width, if this box is too big here, you can adjust its width and its height right here. So I think this looks fine for this video. The video is not moving that much. So this box can be a bit smaller, but if there's a lot of movement going on in the video, you wanna make the search box a lot bigger. So we're gonna go and make this kind of like this. So it covers it like that. And we're gonna hit track forward and this will track forward in time. Uh, you're just gonna hit export data and then you're gonna hit confirm and then you're gonna hit close the window. Go and do the same thing for step two. All you're gonna do is just track this area of the area that you want to be removed. So in this case, the X tattoo. So go to track editor. This will open up the same window. So we're gonna then go over here. We're gonna zoom in to the clip. We're gonna move the X right above there and make this smaller so it covers it like that and track forward. So again, it's the same exact process as step one, but you just track the area you want to be removed. So in this case, the X tattoo, export data, and then you close the window, and then you're gonna go over to step three, mask patch area. Now here, you're gonna have to switch the control mode from track mode to edit mask. So this allows you to actually add points over the area you want to mask. So we're gonna zoom in to this clip here and I'm going to mask over the area that we just tracked on step one. And once it's a plus, just click on this. You can also move these points. Once we're there, it's going to look like this. Skim through the video, make sure it's actually tracking to his face. From control mode, from edit mask, we're gonna go over to offset placement. Now you're gonna notice this tracks it over the area that we uh, tracked on step two, which is the problem area, right? Now, once you're there, go down to step four. We have the on-screen controls, which actually allows you to rotate the area that we just selected. It also allows us to make it bigger or make it smaller. 
and you can also move this. So we're gonna move this right above like that. I'm going to turn off the on-screen control for now. You can see what it looks like. We need, we need to feather this out so it's smoother. So go over to the feathering on step three and actually increase the feather or decrease it depending how you want. I'm gonna decrease it so it feathers inwards. Skim through the video, make sure it looks good. And now we have a perfect uh, mask, which looks amazing. And you can also go over to the enhancement controls. You can turn this on or off. You can like increase the brightness. You can decrease it or increase it and kind of get it exact. So maybe increase it a little bit. Saturation, you can increase the saturation if you need to. And I push play. You're gonna see it got rid of his face tattoo completely, which looks really cool. And of course you wanna let this render in so it plays back at real time. But this is a before, as you can see, real clip here and an after. So before, after, and honestly that looks so, so cool. So you can do this on any type of clip. Just make sure that you have an area that you can actually use to hide that area that you want to remove. You can also use this for like cloning certain areas to make certain effects. Be sure to visit the link in the description if you guys want to get this plugin. Try it out for yourself. You can get really, really interesting results and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.